Five Jones. See this morning. My pleasure, sir. Uh, Sunny Sunday. Yes, sir. Uh, Islamic Financial Institution House uh, is an institution that that focus on the uh, interest-free uh, system. That is, is a it's an institution that 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 deal with Shara Shara law. That is. They practice Sharia and they don't accept anything that has to do with interest. Yes, sir. It's an institution that could beat uh, interest. So, and one of their major goals, all this one, is to alleviate poverty. poverty. So, and they have this as a major goal right from inception. So, I want you to just tell me what are the strategies of Islamic uh, financial institution in order to address poverty and alleviate uh, Financial exclusion. First of all, I will start by telling you what financial inclusion means. Financial inclusion. Financial inclusion means individual and businesses we have free access and they will have useful financial products okay. in order to help them, to enhance them, and to promote them. Okay. And I will start by mentioning ways in which poverty can be can be addressed and in which the financial inclusion can also be enhanced. One is Zakat. In financial, in Islamic financial institution, they make good use of Zakat. Zakat is one of the major, one of the base or one of the major use which helps in reducing poverty and which helps in promoting or enhancing financial inclusion in the society or in the financial system. Because it deals with each of every individual. Like as long as you're a Muslim, as long as you earn much, you have to pay 2.5% of your income. To those that are in need, it's a charitable gift. It's something you do freely. It's a giving which is mandated to every Muslim in the society or in a financial institution, in an Islamic financial institution. Secondly, I will make use of a microfinance base okay. because when you create a ways in which every individual in the society, do you a Muslim or a Christian, we have access to come and to lend loan because it's an interest-free loan a, a financial institution in which every individual in the society can come and to get loan. As long as you get loan and there's no interest. But in conventional way, you must pay interest. That one is for sure. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere you go to, as long as I'm giving you anything called loan, as long as you come, you beg me for money, for me to lend you, I will ask for interest. But in financial, in Islamic financial institution, it's interest free. Because you have to apply, you have to comply with Sharia free, Sharia law. Okay, that is so interesting. Uh, Sunny Sunday. I want you to tell me just uh, a light bit on the word financial inclusion. Financial inclusion, as I said earlier, it means individual and businesses can come in, they can get, uh, shall I say, a uh, uh, means, uh, useful, half assets. Yes, half assets, thank you, sir. Half assets, useful means that is affordable, that will help in promoting, that will help in enhancing businesses. As long as you're going to into business, it helps you. Okay. That's all I can say about that, sir. Okay, that is, that is also good. Uh, the point you made are uh, so interesting. Thank you, sir. Okay, I, I'm so interested. I'm so interested in your, your point. And another question I have is that, uh, like I said earlier, uh, Islamic uh, financial institution is an institution that deals with, uh, with uh, uh, it's a system that does not accept interest in the sir. transaction. That is, it's an interest-free uh, mm -hmm. banking system, yes, sir. and there's this, uh, there's this uh, reformer or or an advocate. Or may, or let me put it this way: uh, Sunday, Sunday, how can you create an awareness in order to support addressing financial exclusion and poverty all alleviation? Now, I'm talking about. Uh, financial exclusion, not no longer inclusion. Yes, sir. What, uh, what, what awareness can you create in order to support uh, uh, financial exclusion and poverty alleviation? First, I uh, will use a system. Let me say, I will use the, uh, the media as an example now. Okay. Probably I might come out in the social media and I will say it freely to everyone. Okay. As long as you, uh, or I can even make it in the form of posters that I can share it around. As long as you are below one dollar okay. you can't end you can't feed you can't get a square meal you can come i will create microfinance means in which you can come i will lend you money to start up something okay 
as long as you are not you are you are capable to do something but you don't have a means of doing it i will create means for you secondly zakat zakat is something that it's compulsory to every muslim it's a charitable something in which you are eligible to have when you don't have anything you are eligible to come and get your own share from it no, i'm sorry for she, i want to ship in yes, now sir. i want you to understand the concept of my question very well so i'm talking about you the you creating awareness mm -hmm. in order to address financial exclusion i get it in now no when you talk about financial exclusion it's a system whereby people don't have sex to this yes. banking uh, system yes. stuff yes. Uh, they will have maybe have lack of awareness of something so what awareness can we create in order to like address this financial exclusion in order to alleviate poverty okay uh, i first i will make this community uh i should i say announcement okay. or co co community Campaign. programs okay that, that will help i think that is the first thing i will make first okay because for me creating such it will bring more people when people heard of it okay. people will come in and to create an awareness for them to come in is then for them to start up something that will help them okay and yes, then you have you have an important uh, point there you can also create a workshop and seminar yes sir you know, when you organize seminar for people in order to let them know that this is this is a thing that is this is the program the or the program that is on for oh, for, yeah. for, you see, for that particular season yes, can create a, a, a workshop and, and seminar can even collaborate with the religious leader bring in religious leader in order to, to educate their, their their audience or their congregation in order to love there's another that is another way of creating awareness in order to alleviate uh, this financial exclusion and to alleviate poverty you know, poverty has has affected the 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 the, the, the country and the the, the the uh, uh, yeah, not eastern uh, region to, uh, region to be precise, like uh, Yobe, uh, Adamawa, and other states, mm -hmm. they are suffering from this uh, poverty issues. So, as in collaborating with the, the leader, religious leader can help them to create another awareness. Can also have community outreach. I get it now. Mm -hmm. It's another way of creating awareness. Mm -hmm. I get it. Then letting them to have to understand about it. Can also have another awareness can create can just partner with the yeah, NGO. That is it. Yes, sir. I, I'm so interested with your point. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for my pleasure, sir. having thank, thank you, you this morning. I'm good, sir. Okay, Solomon. Yes, sir. It's my pleasure having you on see this morning. Thank you, sir. Uh Solomon. Yes, sir. Uh, uh Islamic financial institution is an institution that 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 operates based on Sharia law. That is there's something in their transaction or in their Financial transaction, they provide interest rate. You're getting it now. They provide interest. So, uh, I want to like to tell me or to tell me some modern strategies that uh, can be used by this financial institution, Islamic financial institution, in order to alleviate poverty and financial inclusion. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, there are some ways that, like, before I mention the ways, let me talk of poverty. Okay. Poverty is a disease in our country. So, and when we look at in the aspect of Islamic institution, yeah. so poverty is a, is a state in which an individual could not be able to meet his basic necessity needs, which are uh, food, clothing, and shelter. Mm -hmm. So, and to talk more on poverty, if you look at the, the case study you are talking about, which is not East, about 95 percent of them are suffering from poverty so ways that this poverty can be reduced uh, number one to create workshops number two to organize uh, seminars number three government should provide uh, infrastructural uh, services for example by building schools hospitals so that the student will be educated in order to avoid the poverty at their uh, early age okay that is, that is so interesting thank you sir now when you talk about financial institution you having those idea of how to bank to engage in the banking system yes, sir. have this modern banking system like we have online banking system we have pos there are some people like in the north uh east region have problem people most majority 50 percent of the people in the north uh, east region they don't have this idea of how to bank uh, this online banking system yes. most of them they keep their money at home of which is not helping promoting it's not helping the economy and so it's not uh, it's, it's not contributing any anything to the economy 
So I'm so impressed about that. Thank you very so, much. Sir. Solomon. Yes, sir. Uh, I have another question for you here. This is our last question. Uh, you know, in order for you to alleviate, uh, alleviate poverty or financial exclusion, there must be an awareness. I get it. Yes, so I want you to like to give me suggest an awareness that can be created in order to alleviate poverty and financial exclusion. This by this this analysis is exclusion, not inclusion. Okay, sir. What are those awareness can be that you can create? Eh, uh, sir, there are some awareness that we can. Let me take you to my scholar. Okay. He once said that uh, Dr. Tijani Muhammad. Okay. He once said that zakat in Islamic uh, perspective is permissible. Okay. So. Where rich people are being given out zakat, it will help to reduce poverty in the society. Okay. So, and when we are organizing like all this, uh, giving, introducing some business courses in our primary school and secondary school, mm -hmm. at least all these small, small children, yeah. our pupils, they will grow up with the idea of getting into business and it will reduce poverty in our society. Okay, if I, if I get to show it, Talking about nine, if my question again, if, if you get my question, I'm talking about financial exclusion at this time. At this time, so that awareness that you can create, whether in in, in this region that lack this financial uh, inclusion, what are those awareness that you can create in order for them to uh, to have this idea about the? Thank you very much, yeah. sir. That's why I mentioned of all these seminars, or bring people together. Yeah, well, yeah, you absolutely. lecture them on how to finance. Okay. You lecture them on how to manage their resources. Okay. Educate them on financial aspect. Very good. And Solomon, do you know you can also meet, you can also collab collaborate with the religious leader too. Yes, sir. It's another, it's another uh, way of creating an awareness. When the religious leader, the imam, they go to mosques, they they inform their their their, their, their congregation. The pastor, they go to church, they inform their, their congregation too. They create awareness. You can also create awareness by 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 going for community community outreach. I get it now. Yes, From house to house, meeting people. This is the system or the program that we are on for this season. I guess another way of creating awareness. I get it now. Yes, sir. And this awareness will, it will make them to, to understand and it will help them on uh, to, to bring them out of poverty and financial exclusion. You know, when people are out of poverty. You know, it will help the economy of that region you know, to grow. Are you getting it now? Yes, sir. So another, uh, the last is, uh, thing you can, you can also partner with the NGO. Are you getting it now? Passing, passing on with NGO can also be as in serve as another uh, way of creating awareness to the people. Yes, sir. Uh, sir Solomon, yes, sir. I want to say that I'm so impressed with your point. Thank you mm -hmm. very much, sir. Thank you for having you this morning. It's my I'm pleasure. I'm so happy. I have pleasure to have you this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.